The first demo of MongoDB I want to show you is actually relatively simple. It has a connection to MongoDB uh, and also the physical driver link, which is not always required, but lets you provide specific settings for the driver. The connections is leveraged by a few specific uh, data sets. There is a data set listing the actual databases available in the DB. There is a data set listing collections and there is a, uh, another one that lets you actually access the data. These are aggregated and connected one to the other. So what you can actually see here is that we do have a local and a test and database each of them has tables here we can go there is a restaurants collection that's the only one and that's the actual data in the collection now this is a very generic structure it's not tied specifically there is no customization but you can see here that the address field is actually split into building a street address a number and a zip code and coordinates with are actually the latitude and longitude of the place. Now, this UI with these nested data structures or abstract data types and the sub tables is automatically built by the data set and the DB grid for you without no need to customize it. Now, of course, this is not a great UI, but you get this behavior, which goes beyond the rectangular database tables by default. I do have another demo which goes a little beyond that and shows how you can actually customize and, and turn this data access into something that's more similar to an actual application. In this case, I have two subtables, the coordinates and the grades that are actually on specific grids and specific objects. And there is some code to actually associate the data sources with the data set fields that are part of the data structure. So this is how the subtables are leveraged and exposed with their own data source and their own grid. Yeah, in terms of query, we're just running a query. The query is actually written in JSON type of format. So you probably don't want your users to write anything like that, but rather use a better and easier UI. This is just filtering by zip code and by type of cuisine, the various restaurants. And now let's change one of the settings. No idea there are French restaurants. Yeah, there are two in Manhattan in this database. And again, the sub tables with the coordinates and the grades, the scores are displayed in specific grades, which is certainly more usable than the nested elements here. Very simple, very straightforward. There's almost no code here, but gives you a glimpse of the power behind the Fardac and MongoDB driver. The last demo I want to show you is this very kind of low level, simple JSON uh, workbench that shows some of the capabilities of the new engine. This is some input JSON. It can process it and read and rewrite it in a different way, like with operations like beautifying. Let me show you this in action. Again, very simple JSON processing like beautifying, which is just a reformatting or minifying, which is removing the white spaces or conversion to Bison and then back converting the Bison into JSON. And then, well, we could reformat it in the other way around. This is how you can create a string in Delphi with the JSON could always be handy. But what I really want to focus on is actually how you can create a writer. Writer are objects that lets you create the JSON structure in code. So you can say, thanks to like start object, property name is glossary, start a sub object. The object has a title name, has a value, has a, another name, has uh, another sub object with a title value and so on. It's nice, but it's not terribly handy and not even readable. The other option is actually to use builders. Builders allow you to change the events. So you can just say something like begin object, add a sub element and begin another sub object with a name, a title. So it's more compact, smoother, readable way of generating uh, JSON code. Again, this is code you can actually use in a, a Delphi application 
to create a JSON uh, data structure.